Hey guys, it's Leaflet. I'm gonna be doing a guide for Cagliostro. I beat Galanza and Magiel solo with Cagliostro. So now I feel a little bit more qualified to do a guide. First off, let's talk about skills. So Cagliostro skills. So these are the ones that you absolutely want. You you absolutely want Alexandria. Alexandria is like Cag's best damage skill. It's a really fast like wind up and it just smacks the enemy but the big thing is it gives you collapse after like collapse is one of Cagliostro's mechanics we'll go into that in a bit so Alexandria procs mechanic pain train is like your gap closer and that gets you kind of in on fights a lot faster like if you have to reposition it has insane tracking as well like it will like zoom around in circles like chasing somebody you pain train on somebody and then they move you will like, turn like 90 degrees into them so pain train incredibly good tracking multiple hits of damage mimic doll is like an escape Cagliostro dodges backwards leaves a trap behind which is a statue and then it explodes and then uh sometimes you can get like a giga statue which like does oh, more damage i guess also gives you the the mechanic charge for collapse collapse gets fast charge under it the other skill that Cagliostro is really really known for is phantasmagoria and this is actually the same thing in the mobile game it's like a special buff that she has and it boosts in uh, relink boosts attack defense and critical so the critical is really really good because a lot of the times people aren't crit capped because it's really hard to actually get an end game build with how sigils are in such demand it's really hard to stack crit to get fully the crit cap so a lot of people are okay with like 90 percent. so this will actually get them over 90 percent help you get over 90 percent as well uh the attack is is pretty good early game but as you get into the, into the late game the attack falls off a little bit but it will help your teammates that aren't really hitting the damage cap it will help them to start hitting damage cap and defense is always a really really good thing to have more survivability in raids if you miss a pair you miss a parry like a dodge you're, you'll be fine most of the time with the defensive buff. No, you can tank a lot heftier things with the defense buff. Other skills, we'll go through just kind of the other skills. Mehen is a trap that reduces attack damage pretty bad on it. So, and it also doesn't proc mechanic. So kind of pass on that one. Reinforce. Now, if you want to play more of a healer support Cagliostro, Reinforce will be really good. The only problem with that is that Potion Hoarder exists. So people aren't really strapped for heals. But if you do want to heal, you can pop Reinforce. This Disruption is it removes a buff and it cannot remove enemy goes big dick buff so it, it doesn't really let you remove the bloodlust kind of med damage so not really great rhizomata is actually kind of an interesting thing that kag has it's a very fast revive so if you're you are fighting hard contact your teammates are dying a lot and you want to be a little bit more supportive towards them you can use rise of mana to like get them up instantly also aoe so it's it's pretty pretty big circle you, just, you do have to move it and aim it but it's not it's pretty decent you want to for sure have a alexandria and i'd say mimic doll i guess you can go without pain train because pain train doesn't have mechanic refresh and you could also go without phantasmagoria i would keep it though because phantasmagoria here's a little secret i'm sharing a little secret with you guys phantasmagoria is a f ton of honors it is so many honors in fact we tested Proto Baja and Kag only casting Phantasmagoria using blue potions and collapse, like only spamming collapse. 7.5 million honors from just that. So if you want to like mess with your friends and like get MVP all the time, like you got to get fast Phantasmagoria. It's ridiculous. For my build, like I, this is what I like. I like pain train because I like being able to gap close. I like Phantasmagoria because again, like gets me up to crit cap because I'm only like a 90% crit right now. And I do love the defense. Like I can get smacked and like I'm okay. Uh, Mimic Doll really great escape again like it actually moves you backwards and moving backwards normally is a really bad thing for a sort of pseudo melee character but with Cagliostro it's not too bad because you can use that opportunity to charge do so you mimic doll out you charge collapse as you walk in and then you don't really lose damage or you could pain train so it's not really like a, a big deal for her to like move into the mid-range because she's kind of weird she's a fighter that's both melee but also kind of mid-range like kind of a fairy and a rosetta you're fighting kind of in that weird like mix you're like weaving yourself in and out of combat with her. Alexandra, like, absolutely keep this. It's, it's really fast and gives you your mechanic as well. My alarm clock is going off. What the fuck? Okay, so now we're going to go into Cagliostro's, like, combat style. A lot of Cag's attacks are kind of really short range. But... The reason why Cag's is mid mid range is because of the collapse mechanic. So your special ability is called collapse. And it charges these three orbs. In which case, you can throw it. And with Sigil, it applies death down. So this is kind of your bread and butter is to get in and you and you also get fast charge when you use your combo. So here I'm going to show explain the combos first. So this is your fastest combo and this is one, two, oops, one attack. So you're going to be weaving your regular attack with your special attack, which is the same button as collapse. So your basic fast combo is it's also ranged, which is really nice is you do attack, 
and then you do two two collapses so like attack power strike combo finisher and then you get the fast charge so right after you hit that last hit you want to immediately start charging and cag's combos are a combination of a certain amount of normal attacks and then two power attacks so it's always like one attack two power attacks and then you get the charge or two attacks two power attacks and then you get the charge so going into it here's the variants variant one again really good range really fast if you want if, if you're in a situation where the enemy is gonna hit you soon you can just pop this and then back away and throw your collapse and then you can come in if you want version two is the two attack one so two attack two so there's like this two fast sw swipes one two and then you get this pb aoe it aoe's around you so this is really good if you're surrounded by mobs not really that useful generally it's kind of good in like levels where you're fighting lots of goblins but not really I, like i wouldn't use this okay so combo number three is a three hit so it's gonna be one two and then she has like a double swing all right so i i always look out for the double swing and then after that she throws saw blades one saw blade forward and then another one now this one is special because it's dodge cancelable and i believe skill cancelable one two saw and then you can immediately move so that's good because you can immediately start casting collapse and collapse you can actually dodge out of out of all of her stuff so what you can do is you can actually go like saw saw dodge cancel and you get the collapse right after and you could throw that in so her other combo is this one two three and it's hammers two hammers that come down and like a kind of cleave around you so really her you don't really want to be using the two combo but the one three and four are pretty good so i'll give you some cases you would want to use them so if you're using like a poke like at range you could use this just to get your collapse at range so if you're kind of fighting mid-range say the enemy is enraged or they're doing some kind of aoe around themselves you can just poke them with this and you have pretty good range now if you're closer up you want to use either uh saws or you want to use hammers so saws are really good when the target is like not really moving too much and they're like in one place so you can saws like this and you could throw your collapse because they have to kind of stay in the saws, right? One, two, three, four. It's a big swipe. Hammer. Hammer. That one is really good if you uh, need to pop damage and the enemy is going to leave. Because they don't have to stay in the saws. So you you basically want to use one and three. So you want to use spears. And, saw, and saws cancel. Unless the enemy is you're trying to max damage on an enemy that doesn't have a big window then you can do hammers if you really need to burst someone down right because it does more more damage in the immediate but less damage like over time does that make sense so again your main your main objective is to actually get your main objective is to actually get this collapse going this is really 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 good damage and it lets you play safely a lot of characters have tools for fighting in melee uh, Kazu's just kind of a little bit flimsy. So you want to kind of like back away and then drop your collapse, come back in. You're kind of like dancing in and out of combat. Boom, boom, and the enemy's about to attack you. You back out, throw that in. You can also throw in like one, two, da, da, three. You can jump backwards and then you, now you have a, l a lot more range on the enemy. And you can also use, if you're fighting, you can also use this to back out and just throw a bomb. Really, really good uh, against really annoying enemies that hit a lot. Uh, you can use that to just, it's free. It's basically free. Other things are Phantasmagoria is cancelable. So I'll show a couple of those texts real quick. Phantasmagoria is cancelable. So this is the full cast and I'm, I'm going to move in a circle. I'm doing my circle thing. So I'm moving in a circle and I cast Phantasmagoria. And you can see I'm stuck in animation. But... After you see the words Phantasmagoria, you can you can also skill cancel, I think. Let me see. Yeah, you can also skill cancel it. So 
at the very beginning of the fight, you can just spam your Phantasmagoria and spam dash, and you'll just get right in there. So again, every one of her, uh, the abilities I mentioned, so Alexandria, you can immediately start casting, collapse after. And then with, with Mimic Doll, you can also do the same thing. You cannot do this with dash in. So generally, like, you want to, you want to dash in and then, like, drop one of your moves and then back out. Jump back in and then you have nothing else. Link attack also gives it to you. So Link attack is just like a skill. It always procs your mechanic. That's basically Kag's fighting style is the difficulty with Kag is learning when to go in and when to get out. And I'll teach you another, another trick that helped me a lot is if the boss is doing crazy stuff, like the boss is in bloodlust, you could just chuck these at it. You could just like neutral, like just hold it and just throw them. It's got really good range and it's free. You don't want to lose out on free damage. Now, if you're positioning yourself, say the boss is shooting lasers at you, you can actually throw a rock and dodge cancel, which looks like this. So you can actually keep pressure up like while you're while you're retreating. And I use this a lot when I'm fighting solo. It's really, really good for just a little bit of extra damage. As you can see, it hits pretty hard. It's actually not terrible. Okay, so we'll talk, we'll look at sigils now. Sigils on Cagliostro. You want to get Awakening one ideally, but the important one is actually the... You want this like death down, 30% death down. This is going to help out your teammates that are barely hitting cap or that aren't cap. You'll be doing dealing a lot more damage with that. So it helps it helps a lot. So you definitely want that because it's free. Founder's Truth skill cooldown is also pretty good. But if you, if you have trouble like slotting both, if you don't have the awakening, you can just run strategy and then get truth later when you get the, when you get the awakening. I, I literally got this awakening like on stream right before the tutorial, literally right before. You want to run like your crit. And one good thing about CAGs is you actually aren't too pressed to crit cap because you have Phantasmagoria. So that's going to bring you up to 100%. You want to run a damage mod. So, you know, again, your, your four damage caps. Your three supplementary damage. Uh, potion order, good on a lot of characters, but really great on Kag because Kag's playstyle is a little dangerous. And I'll explain why. So you have your War Elemental. And if you don't have these, of course, you can replace them with like defensive utility, uh, things like cooldown, things like cascade. I like Nimble Onslaught a lot. It's one of my favorite. For any any character that gets into melee at all, Nimble Onslaught's my go-to. And if you want to know more about why, we have a defense guide on YouTube. It's another link. A top 10 defense tips to increase damage will show you why I like uh, Nimble Onslaught. Again, you get your one crit to cap up and then you have different damage mods. Life on the line is a really good damage mod because not a lot of people run healing. Not a lot of people run healing. So like, unless you have a teammate that's like specifically playing support healer, you don't really want, you can run life on the line fairly, fairly safely. Quick charge is one tech I really love on Cagliostro because quick charge actually lets you, so not only does it give you damage, it gives you a little bit of damage. It's like, let's go look at it. Quick charge gives you a little bit of damage like 14.4 percent it's like not great like we're not talking like tyranny levels of damage it is good damage plus the ability to be more mobile this will let you throw out your rocks faster which increases your damage so it's pretty good i really recommend quick charge at least one level 15 quick charge on cagliostro but you can run without it if you don't want or if you don't have it it's not like super critical like critical uh other things i really like on cagliostro again i'm a big fan of improved dodge you know you saw me do those uh rock hops uh you could do the rock hops a lot more if you have improved dodge it gives you like more dodges basically you get like four dodges i just i just really love improved dodge it's really really clutch for melee i almost say it's like mandatory but you know it's really not it's not but for most people i think it's a really good investment uh, oh, oh sorry i forgot to mention like one more thing oh yeah one more thing about Cagliostro is uh, w one thing if you're having trouble playing Cagliostro, one thing you can tech into is you can grab Steady Focus, which boosts defense and you cannot be interrupted by foes while charging attack. So if you're having a lot of trouble getting your, your collapses off, you can use this to not only give you the defense and safety while you're charging, but also um, it helps you maintain your charge so you don't lose it. All right, guys. Combat showcase with commentary just to help you put everything together. So Phantasmagoria, just great, pop it right away. You can use this to get in. See, look at that. Look how much how much I got saved from Phantasm. Look, look how much damage I took because I have Phantasmagoria. It's actually crazy. So against an enemy like Galanza, you really can't use your full combo. So I just like to poke. Okay, so now like basically you want to use your skills. 
I'm, I wasn't using them just to illustrate. So you, you want to use your skills as much as possible. So I start off with Alexandria there. Pop that. Let me lower the volume a little bit. Okay. Look how tanky I am. Oh my god. Tanky. So you close the gap there. Do a little one hit. Look at the range on that. Really good range. See how you can run away while you cast Collapse? I got hit there, but you, you can run away. If I ran in a straight line, that would have been okay. You can throw a, little bit, a couple of these rocks while you're repositioning. Go in. Alexandra. I kind of messed up because I jumped. But like, Cagliostro is like kind of... See how I'm running while I'm casting? So I get that, that rock and then I can go back in. I'm gonna do the three-hit combo there just because I don't have much time with these guys hitting me. You know, against like Proto Bahamut and stuff like that, you could probably get a lot more damage in. You could you could do you could start doing saw combo and hammers, but against these guys, it's not gonna happen. You could also use this, it taunts the, the boss too. So it's great for escaping. I got a hit. I'm gonna do Alexandra there. Start charging as I run away. I can throw my rock. Grab that. Go back in. One, two, three. And then I'm going to pop here. Use my Ars Magna. To like, keep him pinned for a bit. And I'm probably going to give him a one, two. If that thing didn't jump on me, I probably would have used uh, Mimic Doll to get out. I can drop Mimic Doll here now. Got my Collapse. Throw my Collapse out. Alexandra, because it's off cooldown. Then I can actually pop Mimic Doll to run here. See how I just moved away from the stuff and then I, I threw the rock? You can also just do this to just get a boosted charge. If you even if you miss, it still it still activates on like some people's skills. Move in, Alexandra. Look how fast Alexandra comes out. It's so fast. Get out of there with Mimic Doll. Pop my Phantasmagoria so I'm a little bit safer. Get back in. And you can kind of just throw these honestly, like while you're waiting. Yes, yeah, Stout Heart also has like a special damage reduction, so it's really good. It has its own. So one thing about Stout Heart is it has like the bonus damage reduction from the sigil, but Stout Heart on its own just already has damage reduction and it stacks. Dude, he just teleported behind me. Said nothing personnel. So yeah, you can actually use your Mimic Doll to like reposition. Really great. Re Mimic Doll is amazing for when you have aggro and you need to like quickly reposition because it also deals damage, right? It, ta it taunts the enemy, deals damage, and then lets you throw a rock. It's really, really great. Well, I'm in this shit now. I should have casted Phantasmagoria. I cast it now. Yeah. I get hit so much just trying to do shit like that. Like just trying to like, trying to like, Perfect guard because it's so bad. Don't use perfect guard, by the way. It's terrible. Only use it if you want to flex. It's really great for flexing. That's about it. Alexandra, get my two rock, and then I can just jump out with Mimic Doll. It's amazing. It's so good. It's so good. Like, she's so mobile. She's so good at fighting in like this kind of mid range scrappiness. And again, you can throw these rocks while you're running as well. You're repositioning, you just toss these rocks out for free. But see like how you can run away from enemies while you're dealing damage as Cagliostro? It's really great. Like Mimic, Mimic is so safe. Oops, I missed Alexandra, but I can, I can go in here. Honestly, hit that. I can use Mimic Doll and just get out. For free. Throw a rock. Look at the range on this. I, I hit him from there. 
I'm telling you, the Spears is so good. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. It's so unnecessary. Give me that! I wanted to throw it at him. I wanted it so bad. Just hit the Ars Magna. Phantasmagoria. Dash in. And then you can just dash out. It's like so good. See, well, it would have saved me there if I had steady focus. But I don't. See, now that he's broken, now I can kind of go for, like, a bigger combo. Oops. Never mind. Naglil hates me. Look at that. Rock to the face. Destroyed. And then, and then you fight Maglio. Which, I don't want to fight her right now, but, you know, you, you get it. Anyway... Thanks so much for watching the guide. I have more guides coming out soon uh, on the channel. And again, I stream every day. This month, I'm streaming every day. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Uh, Twitch.tv slash leaflet. And uh, hope to see you there. Peace out. Also, I'm recording these live on stream, by the way. So that's why it's kind of scuffed. All right, later.